Hey, hey, my peeps. It's your girl, Christy Akins, and you have tuned in to another episode of Southern Chats. Welcome back, and I am glad to have you all with me today. Um, today's episode, um, I, I don't think I'm going to take up too much of your time. Um, I'm trying to be obedient um, moving forward to when God releases things on my heart for me to speak to you all and let you all um, understand certain things from my from my perspective and my viewpoint. So um, you all bear with me today because my heart is very heavy with bringing this subject because it's just it's, it's so much that goes on in our everyday lives and what people deal with and what I see and um, in my line of work with me being a communications coach for couples and also a singles coach um, you know I hear a lot of what people deal with and what they go through and um, I am I am a person that that truly truly cares for love and cares for healthy healthy relationships so when things um, when things are going wrong or not, you know, done, done right, or people are dealing with certain things in their relationships, it, it, it weighs on me. And when I see certain things, it weighs on me because I just, I really want people to um, truly experience the true joy of love and peace and, and healthy happiness in their relationships or just the self-love within themselves. But without further ado, today's topic and episode is, um, do you want a man or do you want the man? I'm going to repeat that topic. Do you want a man or do you want the man? So today as I unfold and reveal this topic to you all. I just want you all to be um, very open to receiving what God placed on my heart. I understand that for us to make a change, for things to be different in our lives, we have to first be honest with ourselves and how we're conducting ourselves and the things that we are allowing in our lives. If we can't be honest with ourselves, we can't allow the true manifestation of change to happen in our lives. So, breaking down, do you do you want a man or do you want the man? A lot of us get in relationships with a man. And we try to nurture and pamper and 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 build this 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 man up to be the man that we want him to be but if you don't go into the situation already having the man then it will never be it's okay if you go into a situation with the man and he's not fully developed but if God has called this person to be your spouse, your husband then it's okay it's perfectly fine but when we have a man for the majority part we're not even in labor in prayer and in labor over this man to even find out if he is the man for us a lot of us just get in relationships with a man and then we allow him to become our husband and without any prayer without any without any counseling without any any type of um, work being done for him to even meet any type of requirements of being the man you just allow a man to be your your husband boyfriend fiance whatever 
you give him the role that he has not even worked for. A lot of you have a man. A man that will cheat on you. A man that will abuse you. A man that will verbally abuse you. A man that will not be present. A man who does not truly care for you. A man who will not stand up for you. A man who has been a mama's boy so he does not know how to work hard. A man who is a player. Who does not even value the true ground that a queen walks on. See, there's a lot of relationships that are formed with a man. A man that has you crying at night because you don't know where he's at. A man that you can't even talk to about serious issues because he does not know how to communicate. And and the whole time, the entire time that you're dealing with a man, you are steady having to build him up, grow him up, and also heal your heart in the process. Because a man, don't forget, does not know how to heal your heart. So when you stay around in these relationships, you do nothing but damage yourself because you are being a part of a repeated cycle that won't get changed if you keep on allowing it to be a handicapped relationship. Many times you have to leave situations to allow a person to grow up because when they see that you got the strength and that you're not going to deal and put up with certain things, sometimes that person will say, you know what, I need to grow up. You know what, now I see what I did wrong. But as long as you stay, as long as you allow the dysfunction to take place, it will continuously rule your relationship. Now, when you, when you flip that thing around and you pray and you are patiently waiting and God sends you that one somebody and you get with the man, oh, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, just see how the doors open. See how things unfold when you have the man that knows how to pray for you. The man that does not mind working. The man that will bring home the bacon to help with all the finances. The man who will build you up. The man who will lift you up. The man that loves you, that will cater to you. The man that knows and can see when you had a hard day and he automatically knows when to massage you. He knows when to build you up. He knows when to lift you up. The man that is so in tune with God, he can be in tune with you without you even saying a word. There is a difference between a man and the man. And I need you all to get that today. All I want to do is heal somebody that is in a relationship that is stuck. That it was a relationship that is in a dead end. That it is in a relationship that ain't going nowhere. Because if you look at this situation, understand how do you see yourself? That's a perfect indicator of knowing why you're staying in the relationship that you're staying. Trust me, I've made a I made plenty of mistakes because of insecurities that I had within myself. I made plenty of bad choices with men because of the insecurities I have within myself. But when I had to really take a look at my situations and understand why do I keep having these meaningless relationships it was gut wrenching and it was it was hard for me to face the fact that oh it's because of you sweetheart you're the reason why these relationships are dead end 
You're the reason why you're allowing certain things. Because you're allowing certain insecurities to rule, to rule you. You're not ruling your situation. You're allowing your insecurities to rule these situations. So if you allow your insecurities to rule certain situations, then what do you get? You get a hot mess for a relationship. You get with, you get with a man instead of the man. I can boldly say that I am going on my fifth year. This is 2019, so I'm going on my fifth year of being single. I have not been in a committed relationship in five years. Yes, the first couple of years, were it was rough and it was bumpy. It was, it was definitely rough um, because I was figuring me out and trying to understand me and you know, the decisions I've made and things I've done. And why do I keep getting into these certain relationships that, that I'm I'm in relationships for years because when I'm with somebody, I am a, I am a, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a person that, that dates long. So I'm in my relationships, you know, four years minimum, each relationship. And I'm like, why has nothing come out of my relationships? Why even after my my relationships that I had when I'm dating, why is nothing coming of this? And God said, baby girl, it's because of your insecurities. You have to heal your insecurities. You're making poor decisions based off insecurities. When you raise your, your standard and you raise your level, I will bring you who I need you to be with. But it's a lot of cleaning up you got to do. And you all, I've, I've, I've been doing the work. I've been pouring into myself for five years. And I'm telling you, when I started on this journey five years ago, I could not have given you my heart like I'm giving you my heart today. But it's because I've done the work and I refuse to settle for less than what God has told me that I am. So I refuse to have the guy come at me with on the Netflix and chill. I refuse to have the guy come to me and, and ask me uh, to send him a nasty picture and all we did was exchange. Now, I refuse. Now, I'm not going to get it twisted. I don't even get upset because men are naturally hunters. So they hunt they're naturally hunters. So I don't I don't even get upset when a man tries me. Because a lot of men, if you if you're not even with the right type of man, a lot of men are not even looking at you with the with the scope of God's eyes. That's how they should look at you. But a lot of men don't even look at you with the scope of God's eyes. So they look at you with hunter eyes. So if they're looking at you with eyes as a hunter, they see you as prey. Ah, they see you as prey. So don't get so caught up in how they see you or how they come at you. Just get caught up with your actions and your response. See, that's what I had to learn. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get upset. I'm not gonna be mad because you tried me. Because you were slick enough to try me to see what I was gonna do. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna serve you how I would serve anybody else. You're not gonna get it. I'll be nice and polite to you, I'll be kind to you. But at the end of the day, you will definitely understand, oh, she not going. Nothing about my response, nothing about my body language, nothing about my conversation will lead you to believe that you can try me, will lead you to believe that we are going down that road, will lead you to believe that, oh, I can get that easy. Nothing in my conversation will speak that because I know who I am. And I know that I will not settle. But see, it starts with self-love and putting a mirror in front of yourself, putting a mirror in your face so that you're very clear on who you are and whose you are. When you're clear on those things, your surroundings change. What you allow changes. And you are no longer... 
you are no longer bound by having a man. You then yearn to get the man. Now, I don't know when the man will show up in my life, but I know that until the man shows up in my life, I'm going to continue to work on me because that's a daily job. To work on yourself is a daily job. And that's what a lot of people are missing. That core work of working on themselves. Because without working on yourself, you are not bettering yourself to even be with somebody else. This message definitely, it it definitely goes both ways. Even from my brothers, you don't want a woman, you want the woman. You want the woman that has been working on herself so that when she gets into the relationship with you, you don't have, you don't have tons of baggage that you are having to unfold and release. We have to do the work. The work is oftentimes very hard. It's very hard, but it's very necessary for you to get to the next step. I'm not going to keep you all long. That's what God put on my heart. As you all know, I pray that you receive, you receive the message. I pray that it's pricked someone's heart into wanting to develop a better understanding of themselves so that they can be better for their mate. I pray that it puts a microscope on the relationship that somebody is looking at their partner and saying, I think that I have a man or I think I have a woman and I need to reevaluate this thing. I don't condone any type of abuse. So if you are in a relationship and abuse is a part of your relationship, I I, I highly recommend you to get out of that. Highly recommend it. But I love each and every one of you. Under the sound of my voice, I love each and every one of you. And I want each and every one of you to be happy. If you're not happy with someone else, I pray that you are happy with yourself because self-love can take you so much farther than the love that you will need to depend on somebody else. When you have self-love, I promise you, you're not worried about any type of love that nobody else can give you but God when you have self-love. But when you don't have that self-love and you have not, you've not labored within yourself, you don't even know what you're looking for. So you settle for anything. You walk blindly into situations. You walk blindly into relationships when you don't have that self-worth. Your true beauty starts on the inside. Character shows up. People see your character. And your character is what you have poured into yourself. What are you pouring into yourself? What are you feeding yourself mentally, spiritually, physically, daily? What are you feeding yourself? Because that's what shows up in your character. It's time for us to get the people aligned to us that should be aligned to us because of the work that we have done. I pray that this message has touched hearts where the soil is wet so that flowers can grow. I pray that this reaches somebody under the sound of my voice who has probably been lost, who probably did not understand which way to turn, what to do. But now this message has given them confirmation. I pray that you can go live in your life understanding that you are enough. 
just by yourself. I love each and every one of you all. I pray that you have a wonderful week. I pray that your your weekend is filled with bliss. And I pray that if you if you need anything, if you have any questions and you want to send any sting mail, please send all messages to capture this LLC at gmail.com. I will be checking the messages. If you want your question to be aired on the show, we can definitely talk about it. All names will be anonymous unless you ask me to. Um, say your name or you don't mind me saying your name all other mail will be anonymous let's chat let's talk let's get this thing right i love y'all you all have a blessed week be positive be happy be you i'm signing out